Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormack and this is a very, very short video introducing one of the new features of On One Photo Raw 2022 and it is specifically creating time lapse. So let's just go straight into this. We can just build time lapse shots. So we can actually do the edits on the shots and copy and paste stuff. Um, but let's go in and just get going with it. So here I am inside a folder. Um, inside the browser and I have a set of I specifically pulled out a set of images that are actually a time lapse so we can see here the folders called time lapse so I pulled the images out from a set that I was shooting and um, so these are just kind of an interesting enough time lapse I could have shot something fresh for this and today is actually a perfect day for it and um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you this really quick because it is pretty straightforward so I'm going to select all so sorry be in the folder select one and command a or control a to select all and then we're going to use command or control to deselect the already created test one and um, so we have these now we could do an edit on these all this kind of stuff and copy and paste and um, but we're just going to go straight in and we're going to go to file and time lapse and this will bring up the the time lapse dialog which has just popped onto the other screen for a second there but inside that we have our options so we have what's, what's our input we can use the embedded jpeg if we want and we can use fast raw or full raw um, in this case it's just on fast raw now these are JPEGs, so it doesn't really matter. But if we want, we can actually go full row, which will be slightly slower. Letterbox means that if it isn't the right size, it will already, it'll crop it down to make it the right size. Uh, the codec is what you're going to output to. So you've got uh, H.264 or ProRes. So H.264 is what you would use if you're using this as a, just a general output. And ProRes is if you're going into an editor and you wanted high quality going into the editor. Set your frames per second here. Uh, we can set 24 here. And your speed is you can set how fast you want it to be right it will also detect camera movement so if it, it will figure out if the camera has moved and then it will also attempt to reduce the flicker uh, we also have this little bar where we can go along and we can actually see what's happening inside the time lapse kind of giving you a, a rough like, like as we do it it's not giving you as precise a, a function in it right and we can process in the background uh, which means we can go on and do other things if we want but in this case we're just going to click create video and come back to it So you can see here that it's just giving you the analysis and it goes through this ana analysis process first. So what it's doing, it's, it's, it's figuring out the camera motion and it's figuring out if there is flicker that it needs to reduce. Okay, then it'll process the frames. So now it's done and we'll see that it will show up here. It's created a gap for it. Now this one is longer than the one I created before because that was 30 frames a second. This is uh, 20 frames a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop the time lapse into the actual video here so we're actually going to be looking at the video itself and um, we should be able to bring it up here and it will play it's going to play it inside a quick time but what i'm actually just going to do is i'm actually going to just drop it in so you can see it so in the process of creating that video the sun has gone away so lights are back on again you can see that that is pretty straightforward. Uh, I actually find it really handy in the fact that you've got all of the options right there in front of you for how you want your output, how many frames per second, all of that kind of stuff are there. The flicker reduction is there. I didn't think it was amazing in there, but you know, the problem is that there's a lot of flicker in that particular thing and Lightroom would fail miserably at that. In fact, most applications would unless you've got a dedicated deflicker plugin. Now, in this case, I think it's wonderful. I should mention that I do have a discount code, which is SMCC20, which is actually a 30% off code, even though the code might say that it's 20. So that's great. You get a hefty discount as well. So please do use my affiliate link to get that. Um, I really do appreciate the fact that you've taken time to watch this. If you did like the video, please do give it a thumbs up so that we can spread some of the love around the net and maybe get more people seeing the video. Um, do subscribe if you haven't already because I know that it's about 20%, 25% of you are subscribed, which isn't a lot, um, but hopefully it'll be more. Um, thank you to those who are very, very much appreciated and for watching the video. If you made it this far, thanks again, and I hope to see you in the next video.